A huge shout out to the channel supporters. More on this at the end of the video. To this day, a war rages between the Shazian and lizard kind. One day, a lizard man salvaged a dragon tier weapon from the battlefield. Barely escaping death, it returned with the war hammer. Upon inspection, the shamans discovered that the weapon had greater potential that the Shazian had not yet unlocked. Was this the advantage the shamans needed to pull forward in this war? For 30 days and 30 nights, the lizardmen shamans performed rituals on rotation, yielding little results. On the 31st night, a red shaman appeared. You see, the red shaman is a fable passed down between generations of lizard folk. In short, it goes a little something like this. The being stumbled upon the dark altar one day and triggered a mechanism, permanently corrupting itself. Cursed with eternal life, its skin permanently tinted a ferocious red. It approached, cloaked in tatty rags, a skull adorned on its tarnished cane. With its body in a sullen state, hunched over, it spoke. Leave me with this. Return in the morning. The shamans shocked never before seeing a fellow shaman in such a state, fled the ritual site. The immense energy emanating from this red-skinned being was terrifying. It was a very stormy night. Some even say the battle ceased as the lightning cracked across the sky. The following morning, the red shaman was nowhere to be found, though the warhammer remained, glowing a vivid red floating over the fire, its true potential unlocked. Through foggy memories, the shamans considered what they missed. Was it the storm? The magical fire that remained lit even after a storm as bad as that? Or the red shaman? Was it even real? The glow from the hammer enticed them all. Eventually, they reversed the process and figured it out by doing so. Though this process was lengthy and unrefined, they lacked the experience of the Red Shaman. Equipping their most superior shamans with this weapon, they approached the battlefield. Ooh, 1338, new PB, let's get it i'm a big fan of that i think that's a 10 second improvement that fight did feel really quick what the f uh i swear to god i clicked the boss there i cl what do you mean i clicked like centuries ago what Man, that's so annoying. It's not even bad ping, but that was certainly delay. I'm gonna stay 2 HP for the rest of the room. Oh, Poggers, <laughs> I'm gonna stay 0 HP for the rest of the room. <laughs> I was just about to say, the only HP that matters is between 0 and 1. <laughs> and then that happened. Okay, I'm just gonna eat. Nope, not. I mean, it's just very range, but okay. <laughs> bro, yo, yo, bro, I... Oh. Yeah. No, I, like I, knew it. I got I you, my queen. My <laughs> dude. And I don't get hit. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so fucking dude, smart. So smart, dude. Smart and talented. And and sexy and handsome. Say it. Oh, okay. okay. Let's not go that far. <laughs> say right? it. Say like... it. Please, I need something. He's like, Please. I, need I guess you look anything fine to enough. <laughs> make me feel again. <laughs> What percent does she do tornadoes? 20? 20. It's time. Damn, Yo, like Ashley hit so big! Dude, the Gmall went in! Paint us a picture of your experience at Maiden, bro. That's about it right there. Hey! Uh oh. The corners are. You can run through. Oh! Oh, oh yeah? I see. Yeah, I can't. Oh, <laughs> oh can't no! <laughs> Did that just happen? That just Two, happened. Three, four, five. Oh. That's all you. 
I saw two any, guys any the corner. Five so down? <laughs> So this is technically an elite clue that I can do, but I'd have to get another dragon spear, so I'm just gonna drop it. As you guys know, I'm not in the business of keeping clue scrolls that I'm going to have to work extremely hard for at this point. So maybe the next dragon spear we get we'll keep in the looting bag. We'll see. Again, we can get red dragon hide chaps from the worms. Goodbye, Mr. Clue. Yeah. Adam and Orr. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. I clicked to the wrong square. No. Unbelievable, man. No. What a shitty death. I can't believe that. I should have just teleported. Oh. Nature runes, yes, dude. Dude, just when I needed them, the nature runes come in clutch, dude. Look at that stack. That is depressing. We needed more. It's great. Wait. There's no yawners in a mass world? What is happening? That never happens. Dude, you there's seven. What? Players, Sam, what do you mean? What is this? It's like a continuum. It's like a five man right now, Sam. You know that, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have seven. No! Yeah, no! Oh no, shit! It's okay, it's the final phase. You'll survive this. Damn it, oh. damn it, I didn't drag my- Oh, gotcha. oh, oh yeah! God, <laughs> man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that was close. Gosh. You had nothing left? Nothing. Ah. Uh. Two Snapdragons. 100k for the main. Hey! 807kc for the 807 account type. Gaming. Two, two heals? I'm so depressed, man. Should be a new drink. So depressed. <laughs> Holy, I ran out of run energy. That was close. Oh, that's horrible on the final phase. Did Ooh, you get it? Ooh, seven Sanfu serums. Yes. That's awesome. That's so good. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you would hit a zero, Inquisitor. <laughs> How? <laughs> this game sucks! You would hit a zero, dude. <laughs> ah. yeah, I thought it was like guaranteed to hit, but I guess you could. What was that? <laughs> you can hit a zero? That's hilarious. What? Yeah, you, you know what? I appreciate you trying. How did I, how did I just take that damage? Was that a stray what? web I caught? I took a 60 out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not having a good time tonight. No. Oh, we did it. Huzzah. We did it, guys. 43 KC, baby. Good luck. Nice. Uh, seven from high school. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting. I'm closing in. <laughs> we, we good. We good. What? Whoa. I feel, I feel <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask. Don't ask. I feel bad. That was the deadest click ever. Gaming, dude. All right, L movement. So pause when you tank here. So hit, run to the side. No. <laughs> Get no. <laughs> oh Get no, game. dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hate to well, see it. I can't believe life MVP beat over you, the pause. Really? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> now I gotta <laughs> check just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you, damn. you got him, dude. Jesus. You got me too. I'm like, no way. Impossible. I guess we haven't died yet. Lost our pet. Pretty sure I insured this. I'm pretty sure I insured this. What do you mean? I'm like, pretty sure. I'm like, nervous thinking about it, though. Um, nah, I can't get in that. I'm going the other way. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Just... Okay. I'll... My purple is going to purple me. Shit. Okay. Just need to not heal it. I'm still got my on. Belief BX. Yo, Clutching it out. Maybe. <laughs> it might be life, dude. Good luck. I think so. And I, I hope it's life MVP in a side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. Well played.
Uh, they reset BBs. Oh, purple. Oh, shit. Yeah, nice. Is it your it name? Is. No, it's yes, not mine. me. No, oh, no way. What'd you get? What'd you steal? Is it gonna be a weapon? No! Let's go! Oh, no. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Dude. Dude, congrats. MK is the king of sniping weapons, but. What a sniper, no sniper. Damn. Oh, man. So, is that trio split, or you want money on the main? <laughs> <laughs> we were splitting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I was I'm, I'm in on that, don't worry. <laughs> I'll bring the main over. I got an elite. Oh. Uh, Ugh, Sherlock. Yuck. Hell yeah. The quick clip to see the Sherlock challenge. Create a super defense potion. That is a drop. Goodbye, Mr. Clue. So I have decided it is time for us to camp shamans for the dragon warhammer. I figure it's time because I'm tired of having the granite mall in my inventory weighing 4.5 and it not being baggable. Not to mention the Dragon Warhammer is applicable to all of my endgame content, not just Fasani's Nightmare or the normal Nightmare, but Chambers of Zarek as well as the Theater of Blood. So a majority of this was done yesterday, actually. I'd had a Lizardman task, which I completed, and I figured I'll just stay here until I'm out of Rune Arrows, grab another Slayer task, and if it isn't Lizardman Shamans, oh well. Our Xerix Talisman is capped, and we are comfy, set in with a range bonus of 129 rune arrows. And I am mentally prepared to be here for what's probably going to be weeks. My loot logger says we have 3266 shamans slain, but that does not include 65 total lizardmen shamans that were not logged, which I killed before getting the loot logger plugin. So that is the loot so far in 3,331 Lizardmen Shamans, that is the majority of the loot. Let's go for that 5k. 1 in 5k drop. Here we come. Let's hope we get it under rate. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. Virtual range level. Elite clue? I'm just gonna drop it. I hate Sherlock steps with a passion. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I've been on autopilot. That is over 4,000 shamans slain now. Hopefully only another thousand or so shamans to go. Here we are over 4,400 lizardmen shaman KC at this point. With the assistance of an FOH member, Iron Irony, I believe I have found a bit of a scuffed way that I can improve my shaman kills an hour here. So recently there was a three shaman safe spot discovered in the canyon here. So to set up this shiny new method, you want to do just as we did in chapter 33, the elite, when I was showing that off by placing your first account on this corner trap right here. Now with a second account, keep in mind that both of these accounts need 100% Shazine favor. You run along that path and then kill the Lizardman Shaman to the southwest. When the Shaman has been slain, you want to pick up its drops, most importantly the bones or something that you don't mind despawning. Drop the bones on the tile, red click on the bones, and then open up an interface to stall that action. Now what this does is essentially puts your second alt in a permanent red clicking state. And as we've seen in the previous chapter of Sanctuary, the red click action keeps a monster in place. Yeah, that's perfect. So this character is now permanently red clicking underneath itself because this menu option is open. I'm excited to see how many more kills I can get an hour by using the magic shortbow imbued instead of the magic longbow. Now, of course, I haven't done all of my Lizardman Shaman kills in the canyon here, but being able to have that extra tick of speed as well as the plus six range accuracy. And of course, you can go pick up your stuff here, but that's a bad example. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. And it is stuck. Beautiful. We're in range. We're not getting attacked. And the shaman is staying in place, dude. Oh, what a beautiful discovery. All right, after this kill, I'm going to reset my tracker of 365 on the day, and I should be able to play for another few hours today. So we'll have to do a little timer and see how many kills we can get within an hour. And having idle notifiers on will save your life. Now you need to keep in mind on this third account here, it is essential that you do not, and I repeat, do not, click 
in the screen as that will cancel your interface. And by click, I mean left click. You can right click, you can move the camera. You just need to keep this interface open. But yeah, that is the modification to the setup here and let's see the kills per hour. and that is time it has been one hour on the dot not quite enough time to finish off this one but hey you can minus one from the tally if you would like but in one hour with this method we were able to kill 63 lizardmen shaman which is absolutely insane that is much better than the 40 kills an hour we were getting previously so I got a hard clue which I'm gonna go off to do. Oh, and I even forgot to mention that I had an instance where the shaman actually got unstuck right near the beginning. And whenever that happens, you just want to kill the shaman with the account that you're trying to set up the red click method with and then just set it up again. All right, the moment of truth, what happens when you run back in to get back to your spot? You get attacked as would be expected. And then you're fine when you run back to here. So you just continue to attack. I don't think it really matters where you stand, actually, as long as you're attacking. See, I'm two tiles away from the marked tile I have. That's not something you like to see. Well, I'm a little sad. 4881 KC. And we get shield left half number two. One in 6,756. Well, we've been trucking along using the new method, and this kill is officially 5,000 Lizardmen Shamans defeated. But if I haven't gotten the Warhammer at this point, this is only the beginning of the grind. Hopefully not, but anyways. 5,002 were Lizardmen Shamans. Wow, I missed 5k. Imagine that. Oh, nice. That's a 1 in 3,125. Woo. I've had three Celastris tree seeds. Okay, dude. Oh, I have had rune javelins. When did I get rune javelins? Oh, those are 1 in 20k, by the way. I didn't even know I got freaking rune javelins. Another day of shamans, 655kc yesterday, and it is reset. We finished off yesterday with 5,200. 134 Lizardman Shaman KC. So as I finish buying my arrows here, I wanted to quickly explain the process of buying more runes. As you can see in the inventory here, we are getting extremely low on nature runes. So I believe it is time for me to make a second trip into the wilderness to access the mage shop there and we will resupply this stack. I mean, we have the cash for it after all. So this process is really only something that'll be done by a combat only. Now the reason this is because there's only five shops that actively sell nature runes. Though, looking at this list, you can already knock out two simply because of the location. So Lunar Isle, Priftinus, we can't get there, that's out. Ali's Discount Wares and Alcarid needs to be unlocked and also has a quest requirement. We can't do that. So that leaves two. And the Wizards Guild used to be accessible by combat-only account types, but no longer because Jagex locked it behind a quest due to the overwhelming amount of bots which accessed the store and, I guess, still access the store to this day. So that was a fun quest lock. And that leaves one singular store, and that is the Mage Arena, which is located in the Wilderness. So like I did previously in the series for the Law Runes stack, I am going to be splitting my cash stack and going into the wilderness to go buy some nature runes. Well, how to accomplish this? Well, first you need to set your looting bag to ask how many to store. Then you want to use your cash on here, click the X, enter 1 million Galenor pieces, or however much cash you want to bring with you to the wilderness. Now, of course, I would recommend scouting the... <laughs> lever here first 
And I have the main set up with the wilderness sword, so I won't fail slashing the webs on the way there. And of course, running over there, you're going to want to hover the logout button to minimize the chance of getting PK'd. So when you're at this point, you've got one hit point left. Drop your cash stack. Don't worry, you've got two minutes before everyone sees it. Make sure your respawn is in Edgeville, by the way. Come back over, pick up your coins, death pile again. Make sure your player attack options are set to always right click or hidden. And when you've successfully death piled your second cash stack, then you are safe to pick up the first one again after you, you know, find it. Also, bringing a teleport would be a smart thing to do because you need an exit from there. All right, open up your logout. Make sure you have the big button open. I will follow my main and it will lead Inquisitor to victory. So if you're running an alt like this, you will always see a PK ahead on your alternate account first. So here we go, we have arrived, and we have 1 million GP to dump on nature runes. 180, and they jump to 189. Honestly, all the shops should be available right now, so I'll just buy 50 per world. I did not hit the login limit at any time throughout this whole process of hopping, and I started all the way at 477, and I went all the way down the list, and then started up at the top again, and continued my way down to 377. So that was half an hour of world hopping content just to buy out 5,435 nature runes. And that part about needing a teleport, well, it all really depends on how long you're world hopping for, but turns out I didn't need one. Anyways, we got our nature runes and we are back to shamans now. When I was running back, I had a bit of a thought. Now, of course, for this specific method, I'd have to be de because I'd be attacked by lizardmen otherwise, but I could genuinely count eight tiles out this way so that I could attack the shaman closer to the exit and I could drop the stuff to my main. Okay. Well, will this work? Looks like it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you will be attacked when you are aggroed. So I guess a proper method for this would to actually use this spot when you first enter, then kill this shaman after it's dead, loot it, then move to that spot. And then when you're de -aggroed, come back over here. No, you don't like to see that. Another rune spear for the collection. That is 5,323 KC for rune spear number two. Oh, don't worry. It's only a one in 3,378. A Celastra seed, go away. <laughs> God, Celastris 1 in 3,125. That makes four total now. Beautiful. 5,500 Lizardmen Shamans have been slain. Uh, dude, I went AFK and I come back to a third shield left half. Why does this game hate me? <laughs> yeah, that's incompletable. Bye bye, Elite Clue. So, if you guys recall, we could actually PK ourselves for this Granite Mall for 600k. But I told myself I would not do that in the future, so instead we're just going to revert it because it is the same high elk price either way, 30k. So I guess technically I don't even have to do that, so let's just elk it and get rid of it. We are fully dedicated to this Dragon Warhammer grind. Oh, I missed 6,000 KC, dude. Oh, God. Would you look at that? I was trying not to miss 6,000 KC, but I definitely did. So add 67 to that and we're over 6,000. Uh, well, I guess we're uh, making money. That's a positive. Any caskets? Step five is a drop. That's depression. Well, the first clue scroll that I've actually had the opportunity slash chance to get a casket of throughout this whole shaman's grind. I've had like 20 plus hard clues, man. Ridiculous. Man, my brain just wants to get into grind mode today. As you see here, 840 shamans on the tracker from yesterday. Yesterday was a big day. I don't know if I can top that today. We'll see. Minus about two or three shamans as uh, brain just wants to get going, apparently. I didn't even bother resetting this tracker until just now there we go that is 6070 starting off day five i think nature runes and another clue really man another freaking step five drop what a terrible terrible game for the record i got this clue yesterday and i'm just depressed man not another celastra seed get that shit out of here man no man i just love the one in three thousand one hundred and twenty fives 
I love them. An elite clue scroll. Well, if it's possible, then maybe it's time to take a break to get a second one. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Clue. Well, the Ranging Guild is now my home for buying rune arrows because the Shazian shop has been officially ruined by the sheer amount of group Iron Men who dump their rune arrows there for money. Feels good, man. A little update, we are officially past 435kc on the day, but more importantly, we are past 6,500 shamans. There we go, another day, 830kc knocked out, that is 6,900kc total, 7,000kc. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Rune Kite Shield, uh-oh. That's only like 1 in 1600, that's not bad. Oh. A Rune Battle Axe, back to back, dude? Let's go. Oh, that's a 1 in 3200 into a 1 in 1,000. Oh, it's fine, guys. A nature talisman is only 1 in 6,827. <laughs> that's rarer than the freaking shield left half, for your information. All right, that's me for today. 674 Shaman KC, and we are officially over 7,500 Shaman KC. That's actually 7,574 KC. It'll be 75 after this kill. See you tomorrow for another fun-filled day of more shamans. Oh, it's another elite. Is this one going to be completable? Or are we going to be leaving for now to go do some raids to see if we can do the thing? Yes, we can do the first step. So I should probably go and like do some raids or something. Yeah, it's that KC. 7814 and 239 on the day. Oh, nice. Oh, we got it. Oh, stop, drop, and roll, baby. <laughs> What's that mean? I just got a master combat task. All right, we need to shout out to Sud, dude, for discovering that we can actually unlock the Hell's Bells music track. And that is another possible step on hard clues. Though, since this is the bottom of the slope, we can't actually go up any further. So unfortunately, there's an elite step over here which we can't get to. It's right here, actually. We can't get to here, and there's another one up here we can't get to. But, we do have the music track, and that gets us one step closer, and it raises our hard clue completion rate the slightest bit. I know I've dropped clues with this step before, so... That's a little disappointing. Another Guthans War Spear added to the collection. Uh, sadly, not the collection log, though. Hey, we can go and do Corp. Oh, never mind. We can't do Corp. <laughs> oh, back to back. Varax Brassard. You'll love to see it. But, of course, it is useless. Uh, yeah, I'm receiving reports that that was not a back to back. Ah, oh, Dark Relic. I see. Well. Free prayer XP, I guess. 13.2k in prayer. You gotta love it. Are you out? Yeah. No! I misclicked! Oh, it's so unlucky! Quick, save some points. Dude, that's so depressing, man. I should not have died there. That's my own stupid mistake. Uh, one tile off. Funny how that makes all the difference, huh? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Oh my god! I got a purple! Oh, oh. my god! Please! Be usable! Please be usable! It's not gonna be usable. I already know. It's not gonna be usable. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it, dude! Uh, it's a dex! <laughs> yep, expected. Well, scuffed equal stuff! Finally! First purple! <laughs> well... 20 mil, dude, in the pocket. Okay, I can't complain. That was, that was a deserved purple. Let's set the record straight. <laughs> I may have died this raid, but we don't talk about that. But we do talk about the point that I can't use the Dexterous Prayer Scroll because using Rigor requires 70 defense. So that is a drop to the main. And the uh, Dex is dropped off of the account. Let's watch it disappear with tears in our eyes. Rigor would be a huge upgrade, but sadly, the defense lock prevents us from using it. And that would be big for any combat-only account. That is a huge DPS increase, but sadly enough, it's not meant to be. Let's watch it disappear. Eh, 
and it's gone. Oh man, you hate to see it. We I also these. melee person. Kidding, we don't skip these. Yeah, we don't. Uh, skip these. we do skip these. Probably no. We skip. We skip these. We skip. These. We don't skip. Just to stop stand that. Boss. Just stand boss. Just stand boss. Right. Okay. Get on boss yeah. after you. Get on boss after you. Oh my it. god, we did it! You're amazing. Holy Dude, shit! My brain works in very different we did ways. It. Hell yeah. Turns out we had See, the power all if you, along. If you... That was very clean. Wow, I'm dead. <laughs> so close. 50 KC! Post it. Purple for me, purple for me, oh, purple for me. No way. Right oh, you troll. Elite Clue? One, Come on. Two mil, one, 50 one, KC? One, oh, two. an Elite Clue? Please be completable. Of course it's not completable. Alright, back to Barrows we go. Finally got a second clue, but no cigar. Another Carol's Leather Skirt. That is rather sad. Another Elite Clue? Is it going to be completable? We are praying. We need to get back to the canyon. Kill a Basilisk. It's completable. Nice. Now we can finally go and do the two elite clues and then go back. You know, I've realized something. Working on this account for as long as I have now, I have noticed throughout my videos that I am really bad at sticking to one thing. And I mean, that's sort of the nature of this account. You have to take elite clues, or even hard clues for that matter, and do them when you can. But maybe that's why I like the account so much. The fact that I can keep changing up my content. I mean, you know, after we get the hammer, we're back to the same old endgame content, but as per usual, with only two elite clues, we expect a very quick drop, but this is clue one, step one completed, step two is a drop. As is expected, I've shown in the past that you can't get through the Theater of Blood doors, and also we do not have access to the Berg de Rot area right over here. Therefore, this area is completely cordoned off from where we can access. Drop number one, we return. Alright, clue two, step two completed, step three will be, of course, a drop. It happened last time, but you can't win them all, naturally. Lithgren requires Dragon Slayer 2 to at least get to the island. And that's that. We're back to the canyon. Goodbye, Mr. Clue number 2, Electric Boogaloo. There we go. You remember, over 7,800 shamans in the log right now. We resume. Okay. I was gonna say, there's no way that I'm about to be off to do another elite clue. But we can't get there. It's fine. We're safe. We're spared. Should I be talking that way about elite clues? Probably not. But am I fine? Absolutely. Mm, no. <laughs> Stop giving me elite clues, man. No. Surely it's incompletable. Hey, that's the one I got earlier today, which I had to drop. Ah, yes, I see. Another day in the history books, 613 kills today. That is over 8,400 lizardmen shamans slain that is 8430 and this will be 8431 after i slay it we are officially over 8500 kc what is that dog water what is, what is that oh my god easy freak wizard you know that's going in the video <laughs> Another one. Easy game. Wait, did I get? I got hit at the. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I gotta watch that bag, dude. That was great. No, man, not another one. That's the fourth one. What is this? That's just so depressing, man. Redwood tree seed. No! Surely this is a bug. A uh, one in 3,125. No! No! What? Two in one day, man? In 341 KC? On the day. 
Of? Oh my dude, what is happening? 374 shamans killed yesterday. I don't know if I did a clip, so I'm just gonna reset this on camera and kill my first shaman of the day. Boom, that many shamans. We actually just killed our 8,000th, 801st shaman. That's cool. We started today at a flat 8,800. Whoa, it's crazy, man. Would you look at that? We're over 9,000 KC. Yeah, we're over 9,000 KC. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, nice. I just don't want to talk about the Celastra seed. I just don't. I see! Man, I just, I, I just love this game. It's so wonderful. Yeah, dude, I love Dragon Medhelms. Oh, another one in 3200. It's completely fine. At this point... We just smile at the 1 in 3200s, and then proceed to alk them, of course. Another elite clue scroll? I'm actually tired of receiving these. I just want my hammer so I can leave this place. Is it completable? Wilderness resource area, it is. But I genuinely think that I need to not be distracted anymore. And I don't particularly like starting with wilderness steps. Though when in dire need, they are completable. So as sad as it is, I'm gonna drop this one. It's just not worth it to keep it. 764 Shaman KC on the day. 781 KC yesterday with a few mentionables, including the Dragon Medhelm, the Rune Kite Shield, the Celastra Seed, and the Redwood Tree Seed. So, set the reset. Today we are starting at 9,578 Shaman KC. Let's hit 10k today. A beekeeper, let's go. No, it's literally useless for my account. Hey, beekeeper boots, easy game. And they're dropped. See ya. Yeah, I have the full beekeeper set in the collection log now. <laughs> I have the full mime set too. Huge gaming. We missed it, but that is the first 50 million coin stack on the account. That's really neat. Though, we'll be under 50 mil when we go to buy more rune arrows again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very big shaman kill. That marks 10,000 lizardmen shaman slain. And if you ask me at the start of this, hey Sam, what KC do you think you're gonna get your lizardmen shaman hammer? Maybe even the dragon war hammer. I would not have guessed over drop rate, that's for sure. There it is, 10,000 lizardmen shamans. Honestly, I feel dirty just looking at that. But we still don't have the hammer and we continue. Oh, also somehow three more lizardmen shaman weren't tracked, so. I actually think it's from getting crashed because sometimes people tag my shaman that I'm killing, but that's that. 10K, let's go buy some more arrows. Oh, holy shit. Oh, it exists. It exists. It, it exists. Holy shit. It exists! <laughs> I'm done! <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> Die, idiot! Oh, I didn't even check if I was on defense. Oh! <laughs> oh! My heart. Oh, my heart is pounding, dude. Let's go! 10,234! Oh, I hate... I hate shamans. I'm never coming back. Goodbye. Bye! Bye-bye! Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh... I'm just happy I don't have to bond up another count again. Honestly. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> 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 ah, it exists! <laughs> oh god. Surely we don't get the back-to-back -back Dragon Warhammer, like, it would totally never happen, right? Okay, I was trying to bait you, game. You should have just 
you know, did that thing where you gave me the drop a second time. Okay, I'm not gonna be greedy. And the total loot on the main from that whole grind is 14.3 million Gelinor pieces. All right, here we go. We got the Shazing Gauntlets 5 back in preparation to return to Chambers Tob, and of course the Fosani's Nightmare. So with that, I do not have my Elkerns. So I'm just gonna chuck the Black Dehyde Van Braces to the nearest store as we are now completely done with them. All right, Jennifer, here's the deal of a lifetime. Black Dehyde Vams, enjoy. A bit of housekeeping, we are finally able to permanently remove the reptile got ripped. We will no longer receive Lizardman Slayer tasks, which, of course, from Neve will bump up our rates quite a bit. You know, for other good tasks, and heck, maybe even more Kraken tasks. I'd like to say a big thank you to the channel members, CJ, the latest channel member, The Perfect G at Tier 2, Jalzil, Overfletch, and Taco Suave. You too can support the channel by clicking that join button below the video. Up next, a thank you to the Buy Me A Coffee supporters, with the latest supporter being I Can Dig It with the comment of Love The Series. Thank you, it is greatly appreciated. And honestly, it's the outro part, so you guys know what to do here. Don't forget, hit that subscribe and toggle the bell to be notified of future videos. This video catches us up to where Inquisitor is today, so it's probably gonna be a hot minute until the next video. But, I hope to see you then.